Hey guys, today I'm going to be starting the prep work for my ZR1 replica spoiler to put on my C6 base. It came painted matte black, but it was done very poorly. And there's two spots. There's a scratch here and a spot right here. You can see that white speck where the plastic rubbed while it was in transport, the plastic bag that this was in rubbed on here and wore right through the paint. So the, the company that sold this, they, I could have returned it and exchanged it, but I would have had to pay shipping. And just based off this damage, I can't imagine how this wouldn't happen again. So I'm going to prep this, repaint it a flat black, and maybe next weekend install it. I won't have a chance to get that far today. So the, in, the actual install will be a different video. So today I'm just gonna show you the basic steps required to prep and paint something that doesn't require bodywork or straightening. And it's pretty simple. I've got a couple squirt bottles, one with water, one with soapy water. I have a bucket of water with a sponge, and this sponge is for my 1500 grit sandpaper. I've seen some people wet sand and they'll use a spray bottle. You really want a lot of water. I use a bucket and it's constantly drenched. And I have a tack cloth for once it's done, right before I'm gonna spray the paint. And I have a quite a variety of towels. I have some paper towels, a large bath towel, and a microfiber towel just in case. This two by four is there just to keep the wind from blowing the blankets up. So let me get all this out of the way. The first thing you wanna do is wash just with regular soap and water. You wanna wash it, get the contamination off so when I'm wet sanding, I'm not embedding or doing more damage because of contamination. So I'm gonna wash this really quick. I'm gonna wet sand it with a 1500. I wouldn't go any smaller than a thousand because you, you don't want scratches. And like I said, I'm not doing any body work. I'm just creating a surface for adhesion of the paint. So I'm gonna just throw my sand, my wet, wet dry sandpaper in the bucket of water. I'm gonna move these out of the way and I am going to rinse this, wash it with soap and water and sand it. Okay. I'm just gonna wet sand it right here on my workbench. Okay, I'm gonna cut my sponge in half because I don't need it this big for this small piece of work. Now the sponge fits a lot better on here. Okay, so here we, lots of water.
what you'll do is with the water, you'll feel it glide. Once you feel it start to grab and dig in, then you wanna put more water back on it. You don't really want it to dig in because we're not necessarily trying to remove anything. We're just trying to create a, a, a surface that's gonna promote adhesion. Okay, I think I'm done. I'll not want to handle this any more than I have to. I don't want any of my grease or any of my oils from my hand to be on here. And that was another reason for washing this with soap and water. You're gonna want this, you're gonna want this completely dry when you paint it. You do not want any water to get into your paint job.